What is grace? To the Christian, it's an important word. We say grace, we sing about grace, we preach grace. We name our churches Grace Tabernacle, Grace Baptist, and Grace Church. We want people to be gracious. But what is grace, really? More importantly, what is God's grace, and what does it have to do with Him at all? The dictionary defines grace as elegance and movement and refinement. Is that what we mean when we say God is grace or God is gracious? Certainly there has to be more to it than that. You may have heard a preacher or evangelist say that grace is the unmerited favor of God. But what does the Bible say about grace? Grace shows up in our Old Testament in the garden when those who rebelled against God received not the full weight of His wrath, but love and care and a promise. In Exodus 34, not a long time after the nation of Israel was rescued from the oppression of Egypt, we find the people of God in need of His grace again. Verse number six tells us, the Lord passed before Moses and proclaimed, the Lord, the Lord, a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness, keeping steadfast love for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, but who will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children and the children's children to the third and fourth generation. We see in this passage God's focus on grace spelled out plainly, forgiveness for transgression or sin, steadfast love where none is deserved, and yet justice is not compromised. We say we live in an age of grace, a term used to describe the new covenant, a time after which the sacrifices are no longer needed because of the perfect Son of God and His obedience. Perhaps there might be a better way to say this since God's grace is ageless. Nevertheless, we know, as the disobedient children of Israel knew, that we are hopeless apart from God's grace. Ephesians 2.4 tells us, But God, being rich in mercy because of the great love with which He loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved, and raised us up with Him, and seated us with Him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, so that in the coming ages He might show the immeasurable riches of His grace in kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not of your own doing, it is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Church, would you join me in learning this new song that celebrates the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ? We're going to sing it together this coming Sunday morning.
See you.